Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to create a preset for Illustrator. I'm going to show you where to save it, how to set it up and how to use it. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. So now let's swing back to Illustrator. I'm going to show you what I mean by a new preset. I'm going to click on Create New and I'm going to the Web Presets because that's what I based my preset on. Down the bottom here is one that says Web Better Colors. I've set this up with colors that I like and also with a layers panel that has bigger than normal thumbnails. I'm going to select this. The size is not what I want. I want to be creating something that is screen size right now, 1920 by 1080. You can see that I can make adjustments to the size before I create the document. I'll just click on Create. So this is what I did for this particular document. I set it up with colors that I wanted. These are not the typical colors that appear when I start a regular document in Illustrator. And here in the layers panel, you'll see I've got really, really big layer thumbnails. Let's just compare that to just a regular document that I create in Illustrator. These two are obviously based on the new template. So let's just go and get the kind of document that I've been creating recently. These are the swatches available and this is what the layers panel looks like. So you can see that my document looks a whole lot different. It's set up more the way I want it to look. So let's have a look and see how you would do this yourself. The first thing you'll want to do is to actually create the document that you want to be the basis for your preset. So I'm going to click here on Create New. I'm going to just create a regular size document. So I'm just going to use this custom option because we're going to make lots of changes to this. I'm going to set this preset up at the size that I usually use. That's just going to make life a little bit easier for me. I'm going to really enjoy this preset. So I'll just click Create. Now, Things are not the same in this document as they were in the preset that I created earlier. You can see that the layers panel has these really small thumbnails. I really like big thumbnails. So I'm going to the fly out menu panel options. I'm going to other and I'm going to make these 50 and click OK. That's a nice size for the thumbnail for me. I'm going to the swatches panel here. Don't like most of these colors. So I'm just going to select and delete them. I like my greys. I use them quite a bit. I don't really want any of the rest of this. So let's go and get rid of everything except white, black, my set of greys. You can't ever delete these two, the registration and none. You just have to leave those in place. Now I'd like some additional colors. So I'm going to window and then I'm going to color themes. This is linking back to Adobe on the web. So you would need to be connected to use this application. When you get there, I'm going to click on Explore and we're going to just grab some color schemes to use. So anytime I see a color scheme I like, I'm just going to add it to the swatches. So I'm just going to grab a few of these that I like. You can see that they're being added to the swatches as I select them. Now you can obviously move these around and set up your own color schemes by adding, for example, a new color group and then select your own colors. You can do anything here that you like. I am going to add a couple of patterns. So I'm going to swatch libraries. I'll go to patterns and I'll go to the basic graphics and let's just go and add a couple of dot patterns. So I'll just click on a couple of these and go back to the library here or you can just go and load the next swatch library and that'll take you through the libraries that are shipped with Illustrator. So I'm just going to add a few of these. You're obviously going to be more careful about the ones that you add. I'm just showing you the possibilities here. You can also do things such as go to your graphic styles. And if you don't want these default graphic styles, you can just remove them and then you can go and grab some graphic styles that you would use, for example. You can also add gradients. So back to the swatches panel, back to the library, back to gradients. I kind of like some of the sky gradients. So let me just go and add a couple of those that I might like to use from time to time. 
you just click on the gradients, they're automatically added to the swatches panel. You could also do things like add brushes. So if there were brushes that you wanted to pre-populate the brushes panel with, you can do that. You can obviously remove any of the current brushes. Do the same with symbols. So just think in terms of what would I want my ideal document to open with already loaded? What would I like to be there and accessible to me? So I'm pretty happy with this for now. So we need as the next step to save it. Now where you're going to save it on the Mac and on the PC are two different things. So we're going to cover the PC first. So on the PC we'll go File and then Save. Now you'll go to your C drive. So just pick up your C drive here. And then you'll go down to Users and you need to pick up your username. So that for me obviously is Helen. Then I'll go to App Data and then Roaming and Adobe. Then you need to pick up your version of Illustrator. In this case, I'm using Illustrator 2020. So I'm going to select that. You'll choose your language. That'll be the language that you're working with. It may not be English, US, just choose whatever's there. I'm choosing X64. So next up, we need to choose this, which is New Document Profiles. You'll see here are my document profiles and this is the one we were using previously, Web Better Colors. Well, I'm going to call this Web Ideal Colors and I'll call it 2020 just so that I know that this is the 2020 version of this file. It's going to be saved as an AI file. That's exactly how Illustrator expects it to be. It's supposed to be an AI file. I'll click Save. Click OK. And that is now saved. So I'm going to close and restart Illustrator and we'll come back and use that new document profile. So I've just closed and reopened Illustrator. So I'm going to click on Create New. Now in the recent options, we don't have the file that I actually created. So we're going across here to Web. I'm going to scroll down to the end because it's going to be the last one in the collection here. It's Web Ideal Colors 2020. I'll click it and click Create. Now I have a new document. I just chose the 1920 by 1080 because I set this document up to be the size I like it to be. Here are our colors, our patterns, our gradients. If we go to the layers panel, it's got a big thumbnail here. So you can see that all of these options have been saved in the document profile. So I could just go ahead and work on my document. Now if I go to Create New again, because I used this recently, it's going to appear at the top of my recent list. So if you use the profiles that you create over and over again, they're going to be really easy to find. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to change its size this time because I want to create something that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, but I want these colors. I want that set up. I'll click Create and that's exactly what I get. The colors I want, the layer panel, thumbnail, all of the things that I like in a document. So it does take a little bit of effort. Probably the most complex thing about this is getting the file in the right place. Just be sure that you know which version of Illustrator you're using so that you can put the file in the correct place. So now we've done the PC, let's head to the Mac. So here I am on the Mac. I'm going to create a brand new document just as we did on the PC. I'm going to base this on the web documents. I'm going to type the size that I want, 1920 by 1080, click Create. Then I'll go and set up the larger size thumbnails for the layers palette. We'll go to Swatches, get rid of the swatches that we don't want. Fire up the Color Themes option and select some color themes to use. Now at this point I can also add some gradients. I'm going back into the sky gradients here and adding some of those. You can also add a pattern. So let's go to patterns and we're going to choose the basic graphic textures and add a few of those. So my swatches panel is all complete. Of course, I could go and repeat that for things like symbols, for brushes, just add in the brushes that I want, remove any brushes that I don't want. I could also do it, of course, for graphic styles. Now that I'm done, I can go and save my file. And this is important. We're going to choose File and then Save. 
You're going to locate your user area, which for me is Helen Bradley. Then I'll go into the library and then application support, Adobe. Pick up the Adobe Illustrator version that you're using. In my case, it's Illustrator 24. Choose your language and then new document profiles. We'll type a name for this, which is going to be Web 2020. Nice colors and click Save and OK. Now when I close this file, we can test it. I'm going to quit Illustrator and restart. I'll click on Create New. We'll go to the web group of documents. We just have to do that the first time until it appears in recent. Scroll down, it's going to be at the end of the web presets. I had to click there on view all presets to see it. We'll select Web 2020 Nice Colors. Click Create and check and make sure that we have our layer thumbnails the right size and our swatches panel is populated with the colors we want to use. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.